here's what you'll need. Some of this stretch, I don't know what it's called. Um, let me see if I can remove the tag. You can get get it at any craft store. A stretch um, plastic, elastic cord is what it's called. This one right here was only three bucks. So yeah, um, a pair of scissors, any ones. This is my favorite pair right here. Um, I'm gonna use super glue, any super glue of choice. And then the bracelet I'm going to make is going to be to match these earrings right here. And so I'm going to use these beads right here. And that's it. Okay, typically I like to use around 12 loose beads. Just depend on the size of them. The bracelet is going to stretch anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So there's the beads. What you do is get your, your plastic coil and you I leave mine on the roll to stop it at the other end but take about I would say 12 inches you don't want to make it to exactly the length of the bracelet because you want to leave room at both ends to tie it so simple as a kindergartner can do this just slide the beads on Okay, after you do slide them on, this is what you should have right here. Just a line. Make sure you have plenty of room at this end. And make sure you have plenty of room at this end. So, here's where your scissors are going to come in. You just cut it. And you're through with that. With this end, all you're going to do is tie. The first tie, go forward and bring the bracelet together. Okay, then you just knot it. Don't pull this string too hard because if it breaks, it's going to be a sticky situation. And so I usually do it about three good times. Make sure it's real good and tight. Right here. Okay, take your scissors, cut the excess off. And then what you do is where your knot was at, take a little bit of the glue, any glue of choice. I'm not going to actually do it, but just put it right here and secure your knot. And there you have your stretch bracelet. Super simple white. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.